I am over the moon with excitement. I've uh, missed them so much, and I'm grateful that I got to see them on my computer screen, but I'm so ready to see their faces in person. Some teachers tell us they are ecstatic about going into half online and in-person learning next week. Ms. Harden is a kindergarten teacher at Riverside Elementary in Grants Pass. While being a first-year teacher, she's juggled both online and in-person instruction due to pandemic closures. I've known I was going to go into education my whole life, and it's been a really wild year, but I'm still really grateful that I get to be in here and I get to have kids in the classroom even if it is a really small group and even if it is two days a week I'm still just really grateful that we get to do it. In Grants Pass School District 7, kindergarten through third graders last saw a classroom in November. For fourth and fifth graders it's been nearly a year. I can't even begin to express. I remember in November when we were told we were going to go to CDL and I, I put all their pencil boxes away and then I pulled out all their books and labeled them and put them into bags to send home and it was an indescribable feeling. Distance learning hasn't just affected students, but teachers and even the principals. The personal connection, I think, was the absolute hardest. Um, just kids, we are meant to be social people. We're, we're social beings, and that personal connection, just losing that over time was really, really hard. As more students return to classrooms on Monday, they will have to follow strict health and safety guidelines, like washing your hands. And each student will sit at an assigned desk. Like in this classroom, one student will sit here on Monday while the other student will sit here on Tuesday. What we get to do there though is kids, because it is half, they get some really strategic intent instruction for that because it's smaller groups. It's half the group of kids, so we can really detail our instruction for those, those kids that are there. Classrooms will range from 8 to 14 kids per day, wearing a mask and maintaining distance guidelines. Third grade teacher Mr. Dickerson is preparing his classroom for the guests of honor the kids. We're trying to make it look amazing and then we're decorating our doors. So I found this one and my plan is to take photos of my kids and cut them out and put them in there. But I have to wait for them to get here. Have a great weekend and the school looks great. For Ms. Harden, it's something she's waited for a long time. The chance to finally put her pencil boxes back out. In Grants Pass, Katie Strait, Fox 26 News.